Okay, so in this video, we're going to see about changing out this Wonder uh, Solar Charger controller. I uh, haven't been real satisfied with its performance. Uh, was barely running um, any load on this today, and it just really depleted these batteries. Uh, surprisingly fast you know for four 200 amp hour batteries um, the the solar really wasn't doing uh, much good and all I had connected to this for a load was uh, a residential refrigerator and a mini refrigerator and ran it for about half the day and it just did not uh, turn out well sorry about the fan noise there and this was running off uh, this little 400 watt array. So I'm going to see about changing that out today to this new, uh, oh, I believe the Solar One is the manufacturer. This is a 60 amp uh, MPPT controller. So hopefully we'll get a little better performance out of this. Uh, also have the remote meter that will pr plug into that plus temp uh, capability so uh, yeah let's get that changed out okay i'm sure we're gonna be right in the way here but do my best to stay on the camera view Okay, there's a little DeWalt uh, 1000 watt inverter. Remove that. And let's see. Better go uh, and hook the solar array. Okay, pulled one leg of that. So. And then I'll disconnect these terminals from the charge controller. Probably repurpose this for um, battery warming capabilities since these amp ampere time batteries don't have low temperature uh, cut out we'll um, probably need to have a back up or fail safe if they hit um, low voltage charging which we don't want to damage them so uh, probably looking at doing that um, and we're using this charge controller plus uh, uh, other little solar panels we have to be careful here because it's obviously our live connection into my battery I definitely don't want to touch these together. I think maybe I'll just take this off and just going to get it out of my way for now. Positive put over here and the negative. Sorry, my okay, that disconnected now. Let's pull these screws out. Super impressed with Wanderer's uh, software, but the Bluetooth module has been nice so you can uh, just, you know, get on your phone and see what's going on. It's, it's not wonderful software, but the 
that's I found that's nice if you're on one the nerdy side like myself and like that see what's going on with your system so okay there's that and get the new one put in place okay I gotta take this cover off here get to the well first there's a we have the bottom let's see we have the uh, temperature interface the RS-485 for the remote monitor and of course solar input um, battery uh, input and then uh, DC load output which couldn't find the manual how, how many uh, amps that's capable of handling but I'm gonna contact the manufacturer see what they say about it see the terminals inside of there and get some wires hooked up. Okay, got a couple screws on that side. A couple more on this side. isn't really a high dollar uh, charge controller but from what I've read it's people have been uh, pretty happy with it so hopefully there will be too. hooked up. Actually, I think I read or heard somewhere these particular charge controllers were popular in third world countries like uh, Africa where, you know, uh, money was a little more of an issue. And so they're using them over there. There's a positive to my batteries. So we get this negative hooked up. Yeah, it looks like she's booting up already. See if showing under voltage. Let's look at our settings here. Meters, that's good. Let's see what else we have. Communication. Yeah, look at that later. DC output setting, automatic, so that later, system info, oh, battery type, so that is rather important. Brightness up a little bit. Contrast, time and date. But let's go back to system info, AGM, charge voltage. Okay, 
this probably have to go through parameter setting. I don't know what that is. So I have to come back to that. Okay, so I got this set up. The battery selection only, I thought it had more um, capabilities to choose from, uh, but it only um, allowed me to select lithium ion, and these are uh, uh, lithium uh, phosphate, ion phosphate batteries. So um, I went with the lithium ion selection. Uh, and let me change a few parameters and the uh, overcharging and undercharging. So we'll see how that goes. Let's get my uh, solar panels connected up here. And then we go hook that solar panel array back up. Panels are pretty much in the shade right now, so I'm not sure what what that's going to do. Showing voltage, 18.2. Showing any current going towards the batteries at this point, no wattage, so it could be the lack of sun, I guess, um, but we'll keep an eye on it, see what happens. We'll be checked back in the morning and uh, we have a lot more sun, see what that does. <laughs> 